What is going on DNA Mobile Gamers? Today, I'm going to show you guys three major reasons and how to fix them. Why you get this can't open underscore DS menu dot dot error when you try to load up or start up your R4 card. So let's jump in and level up our gaming knowledge. That is right, Mobile Gamers. Today, I am going to teach you guys three reasons why this can't open underscore DS menu dot dot error occurs when you try to set up your r4 card we're going to start with the main biggest reason being number one that is because you put the wrong firmware on your card you followed the guide the incorrect guide it's not your fault though because for some reason these companies like to confuse you with this little stamp on the right hand side here this stamp right here looks the same for the cn cards so what i mean by that is this card right here it says smart update on the bottom it also says r4i sdhc.hk it has a 2022 stamp with a big set of triangles around it and it is a completely different card than this card right here now you're saying well i have that card but it says smart update on it. Yeah, that's the thing. This one is a real-time save card. Some of these cards, they have this kind of stamp for the, the year, just like this one does. It's a stripe. And it says smart update if you look at the bottom. You have to look at that. It also will say r4isdhc.cn. Now, I don't have any of those cards anymore. Amazon sells them. If you want to go look on Amazon and buy it, then this guide will be for you. They come pre-configured with SD cards already, which is nice. But again, if you just bought this off of AliExpress or something, it doesn't have a pre-configuration file. And I've supplied you with that in the link in the description below, specifically for this card or the CN cards, which is a smart update. And if you put the right files on it, like I'm going to right now on my computer, I'm going to plug this right into my computer. There's my R4 card. I'm going to delete all of these files, which are for the R4 RTS card. I'm going to grab my smart update files that I've supplied you in the link below. And now I'm going to pop this out of my computer. I'm going to plug it back in to my Nintendo 2DS XL. It doesn't matter what console you put it in because it works for every console. That is a DS, DS Lite, DSL, uh, DSi, everything. You'll be on your way to playing with your R4 card in 2024 so you got a 256 gigabyte micro sd card ready to go you put all the files on it you popped it into your r4 card you got the same files that i showed you in step one or reason number one you plugged it in you pressed a to play and you got the sdtf card error now this error is a little bit different than the other error because i'm going to tell you why you didn't follow the section of the guide that told you that you needed to format this card properly. What I mean by that? Well, I'm going to show you that right now. The reason why this error pops up is because your SD card needs to be formatted to a specific format. And this card, as you see right here, that I just plugged into the computer, is formatted to XFAT. But if we right click, we click format. We click file system to try to format it. We don't have the option to format this to the proper format for the R4 card, which is FAT32. So I have supplied you with a program in the link in the description below called AOMER Partition Assistant 6.0. This is a pro version of this application. The version that's on the internet now, I guess, doesn't work. So that's why I supplied you with this is basically like a, a hacked version or whatever that is free. For you to actually use so that you can format your SD cards properly so as you can see in the bottom here I've been using this for this tool for over six years now we have our R4 card right here which is formatted to XFAT if we right click on it and click format load a file system we can select FAT32 you can give it a name we can go R4 smart that's just smart update make sure the default is set to 32 kilobytes click OK Click on apply on the top left hand side, click on proceed, click yes, 
let it do its thing. It takes some time, depending on the size of your R4 card and or your SD card. And the type of SD card you have. Mine is a fake one, so it's slow. Now that that's formatted, we can double check to make sure it says FAT32. This is just going to load all of those disks again. We can go back to our file manager. We can click on it and we can see FAT32. Now we can copy those firmware files from our smart update folder or our original firmware folder. Paste them on here. Now that they're all copied over, we can unplug it from our computer, plug it into our, our four card, plug it into our DS console. Doesn't matter on the type of DS we have. Press A to play. And we'll be on our way to use a 256 gigabyte micro SD card on our R4 card. So you downloaded the original firmware file, .zip. You right clicked it, you clicked extract all, clicked extract, you copied that folder, and then you pasted it to your R4 card. You know it's the right one. Now you took the SD card out of your computer, you popped it into your R4 card, put your R4 card into your DS console, Deep Labyrinth pops up, you press A to play, and you got that error again. Well, the reason why is because you didn't follow the step where you had to actually navigate inside of that folder and copy all of those folders to the root of your SD card. So all you have to do is go into that original folder, grab all of these files right here, navigate out of your folder, and then paste it to the root of your SD card. If you don't know what the root is, that means that if you click on your R4 card, this is the root directory of your R4 card. And a lot of people have done this. Now that all those files are copied over, we're just going to leave that original firmware folder for now. We're going to pop this into our, our 4 card 2022 smart update card. Again, the year doesn't matter. We're going to press A to play, and we'll be on our way to game on our R4 card. So, to conclude our three reasons why we get this error when we try to load information onto our R4 card or our SD card into our R4 card, you have learned the top three reasons how to fix them. You've subscribed to the channel because this has been very helpful to actually get your R4 card up and running so you can play some Mario Kart DS or any other DS style games on your R4 card, on your DS, on your DS Lite, on your DSi in 2024. And the reason why I showed you this is because over the last year and a half since I started releasing R4 card guides, I've seen this same question pop up multiple times to the point where I thought I'd actually deep dive and show you how to fix it. Have a nice day, guys. Go enjoy gaming. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment on the video below if you have any other questions because I try to help anybody with any issues they have with anything to do with mobile gaming. Bye-bye!